Hello YouTube, this is an albino bison, and I'm gonna show you some Civilization V Brave New World. I picked this game up on Steam when it came out. Uh, uh, it wasn't that much expensive, it was 10% off before it actually came out. And um, living in mountain time, I actually got to get it about two hours early, so I got to play it a little bit last night. I played some more today, and uh, I'm ready to show some, some of what it is. So uh, let's get started. I'm gonna choose one of the new sieves. Um, I played as Portugal, and they're pretty. It's, pr it's a pretty cool sieve, really. Um, the getting copies of the other sieves, I mean, uh, city states resources is really powerful if you're someone like me, and you have a uh, have something <sighs> have a problem with getting happiness. That's always a problem for me. Um, so obviously Shaka is a militaristic sieve. Uh, he gets less unit maintenance. I think I was going to go with Assyria or the Shoshone. Um, this isn't, it's not that great. Uh, eventually the tourism can get can be uh, helpful. That's something added in Brave New World. It helps with the cultural victory. But um, anyway, I was looking at Assyria. Venice seems kind of harder because you can't annex cities. Um, I'm not much of a militaristic guy, but I do like having more than one city. Um, the this one doesn't really seem that great. Actually, you can combine military and science in this one with Assyria, Ashurbanipal, interesting, Poland. You know what? I think I'm going to go with Poland, Casimir III, or Albino Bison. Uh, continents, that looks good. 16 city-states. I'm going to play on uh, Prince because I'm not too too great at this, uh, this, um, this expansion pack yet. And uh, let's advance, set up everything. Everything looks fine. All of that, cultural. I usually try to go for uh, scientific victories. I know it's pretty lame, but you know I've gotten pretty good at it. I I go to war sometimes. I I have done domination and cultural victories. All hail, noble King Casimir the Great, protector and sovereign of the Kingdom of Poland. You ascended to the throne during a time of great turmoil, with the nation's economy in shambles and its people demoralized by the wars of your predecessor. And yet your reign marked the beginning of a new era, with affluence and security afforded only by way of your careful governance. Among your most notable achievements, the code of laws you established gave legal authority to many of the accepted customs of the time, strengthening the nation. Honored King Casimir, the people have long admired the steady hand of governance you wield. Can you return your kingdom and its subjects to a golden age of prosperity? Will you conquer all those who oppose you? Or strive for peaceful relations? Can you build a civilization that will stand, that will stand the, test the test of time? Of time. Okay. And free social policy. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Let me go let's make this research. Oh, I'm last. Wonderful. No, just kidding. Um, some incense. That's not... Oh, pearls. Okay, this is a pretty good spot. Uh, send you out. Let's see. Um, I think I'm going to get a... F this is, I'm going to get a free monument, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and explore the world. Mm. We have calendar. I'm going to go for pottery. Yeah, so they added um, this up here instead of the advisor tab. And the advisor tab is just it's uh, in this additional information uh, like where the demographics are. Let's see some more incense. And um, it's the culture overview. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, all this looks, all this will come up later in the game. 
And um, something when I was reading about uh, Brave New World, it said it really changed the end game. And I uh, haven't quite got there yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, because what they did to the uh, social policy tree, they changed everything. Well, they changed a lot. They changed a whole lot. So you have these three new uh, things here. Exploration, which uh, helps you move your empire across the, across the sea. Commerce, that's always been there. And aesthetics uh, is more culture. So they've really enhanced the culture victory. And uh, the ideological tenets that I guess we can get when we're in the, um, in the industrial era. I like playing with all these on, they uh, they help, well, all those can be found, well not there, but in here you can uh, hide the hide recommendations, um, where you can get the resource list, and that's all this stuff, that gives sheep, how much gold, um, ugh, it's pretty helpful, really, let's get on top of this hill, ah good, let's see, yeah, um, god I really like Poland's colors, pretty nice but um I would definitely recommend uh, recommend this expansion pack it's really just revolutionized civilization in this aspect I guess <clears throat> um, adds lots of new civs and um oh my oh the tr oh trade caravans oh so great culture oh there we go yeah the trade caravans you can send uh, um, you can send out trade caravans by land or sea uh, with boats, and um, what they do, they can they give you you and the other person uh, they give you and the other person gold, and uh, they can spread your religion and uh, other things among other things. Uh, it'll really start to become more apparent later in the game. Hmm. Sophia. Militaristic. I really like uh, the uh, merchant sieves because they give you happiness. Oh. There we go. Cool. Get some early gold. Yeah. Portugal really is a is a powerhouse of a sieve. They really made it. Uh, a, gr a great civ, civ uh, from what I've seen and played. Um, even though this uh, Portugal, I mean Poland, having unlocking social policies more faster than normal, that seems like a pretty good way to win a culture victory, or you just uh, generally help your empire by getting rationalism to get more science. Increased technology cost. Oh. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's uh, what they did to the, um, well, to the menu, uh, to the game, I guess. I, this up here is, uh, this is the, the trade units you have and how many trade units you have available. So how you're utilizing trade and what you can do. Um, this is your tourism, and, uh, you put, what happens is you spawn great writers and artists and things, and you and you can have them make a great work and they put it in museums or what you have like a, a palace or a the Parthenon etc. Let's see, Jungle Hill Okay, come on oh. Kilimanjaro There it is So, oh, crabs. Well, Shall we? as of right now, I don't know where I'm going to expand my sieve. Uh, yes. Come on. Come on. Yes. Woo. Okay. Ooh, salt. Okay. Um, this is what I want. One guy left, oh, he's... Mm. 
Barbarians. Oh, they changed the symbol for that. That's right. Okay. Oh, wow. So, no civs yet. It's just me and a bunch of uh, barbarian savages. So... Hmm. Someone's got a really good city spot, apparently. More incense. Ooh, gems. Oh, damn. City state's gonna take them. Silk. Good. There we go. Free culture building. In my first four cities. What is it? Oh, it became an archer. Oh, that's good. It's not bad. I like that. Benvenuto oh. a Venezia. Soldoge Enrico Dando. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, this music, it's wonderful. Have I come to trade? I'm devant. Not, not yet. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is so cool. Venice. Gonna have to play them sometime. Enrico Dandolo. Yeah, like uh, the other civs, like Shaka, he's in front of a Zulu village, like banging on his, uh, the shield. Oh, wow. Well, where did I find him, exactly? Down here, right? Yes, okay, so... I'm not alone. You know, maybe I could try to go for a cultural victory. Not exactly the right civ for it. I could get Liberty in my next uh, <clears throat> social policy and that'll increase some uh, some culture and um, eventually you can get archaeology like if I fight like down here when I fought these barbarians eventually that could become an archaeological site and I could send someone down there to dig dig it up um, don't know if I want to settle her yet. Looks like I'm pretty far away from everyone. No immediate danger. I want to get this this hooked up so I don't get unhappy uh, this early in the game. Oh wow. Mavi is Sudik, Brenhines a Keltiaid. Hate yet nib on Tom Brissoy. Scratch everything I just said. Oh, my God. Uh, I hate Botica. There are just some civs that are just their the game uh, pre-programmed disposition. They're just. La offerta non sarà valida per tanto tempo. Pensegue. Oh, I just oh, I just love this guy's uh, animation. It's so great. You know, we're going to be friends. So, eventually I'll get this up and I'm going to have to, uh... Oh, uh, we're... I'm going to war with the Celts. There's just... There's just no avoiding it. She's going to be like, oh, you're... You know, our dis... Our proximity has made a war inevitable. Like, oh, why can't we just be friends? So then I'll have to annihilate her. Even though, what I've found is, uh, like people like uh, Botica, who always, who usually get a, a, a vast army early in the game, you can pretty much defend your your civilization with just two archers per city at a, at the city they're attacking. Those two archers plus the uh, plus the city bombarding them, they pretty much don't stand a chance. So if you're not going for uh, military. You can just have you can just plop two archers at your city and you're still you'll be totally fine. Oh, run away. Warsaw has grown. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, he's way down here. Venice. I'll be his only city, I guess. 
even though they can capture cities, but they puppet them, and they can't produce settlers. That's 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 uh, what Venice does. Um, uh, I read something about the Venetian merchant though, and they can like do do some cool shit or something. Go down here and meet him. Ugh, I especially hate uh, so the Siamese guy, Ramalama Ding Dong. Mm. He's just so. Oh, he's just so hard to deal with, especially when he's close to you. Because either like he goes on a a rampage of just uh, acquiring territory with settlers, or just conquests everything. And he always, he's, for some reason, he just always has so much culture, no matter how many cities he founds. I haven't read up on that, probably just said something pretty stupid. But, that's okay. Um, none of this. I want additional culture. Yeah. Let's move through the jungle. Oh, great, barbarians really annoying early game. It's probably not the smartest just leaving that uh, citizen unguarded. But if if all else fails, you can just run into, run into the city. Okay. Eh, I can't let you go up there. More XP. what's up here. I guess I could expand up here. Even though what was over here that I wanted? Silk. And salt. Oh, there they are. Mm. That's no fun. I didn't even get that online. Ugh. Take like four turns for my city to bombard him. Hey, I got an archer before I even got archery. Ah, oh, I so some people are just raking it in over there. Oh, yeah. oh I'm going to destroy you. Shouldn't have left the jungle. Yeah, barbarians aren't really very good tacticians. Except when they come and scare your people into submission. Oh, great. Oh, my God. What's up with this? Do they just spawn? Oh, yeah. Just kidding. Oh, I thought it would, I thought it would be Botica because I'm pretty sure she gets uh, she gets some uh, she gets a a perk that gives her more faith. They must have found it in a uh, ruins though. Come on, kill him. There we go. Well, this is this is no good. Oh, they're gonna burn my fields to the ground. Oh, this isn't good. Ooh. Hmm. See great work of writing slots. Free technology. I'm thinking I want some science. Uh, I'm kind of ignoring my settler need, though. Mm, it's okay for now. Oh, I'm going to destroy this. Did that hurt them that much, or are they getting attacked by someone else? Because if they attack me, I'm just going to... Warsaw... Oh, they did. Uh, take like three turns to get them. Mm, do nothing. Oh. Yeah, why were they so hurt? Oh, never mind. Oh, I'm gonna kill that, and then he's just gonna sweep in and take it. Watch. He's gonna it's gonna be empty, and he's gonna sweep in and take take my reward. A million arrows just landed on that guy. I'm gonna say it's oh my god! Oh, I told you. And look at this! Look at this bullshit! God damn it! <laughs> 